What's up guys? So here's the batteries at the end of day three. Uh, we got them all wired up here. We got both cutoff switches installed. So you want to make sure when you wire these that you keep your positive and negative links the same. So this negative here and this red and this red and what's on the other side are the same length overall or at least close. I mean it doesn't have to be down to the centimeter but you want to at least have them close. What's up guys? So now we're in the pass through storage. Uh, these are the wires coming from the batteries. Positive, negative, link shunt. It's got a 500 amp fuse in there. And then the links distributor. This is the 12 volt power for the inverter. You can see they go down into the inverter there. We got two here. They go to the solar controller. So these are two gauge wire here. You want to make sure you gauge those appropriately for the solar controller. This is a 100 amp solar controller, so two gauge is probably a little overkill. Four gauge would be fine, but since two gauge fits in there, that's what I use. This red line here it will be the 12 volt power for the whole rig. So you can see that just goes up, and I'm going to connect it to that cutoff switch there. That's just how I tie into the 12 volt system. Uh, we got the case ground here that just goes up in here and connects to the negative. A lot of people forget that on these solar controllers. I work on a lot of systems that don't have the case ground, which would be fine 99% of the time until it's not. Same thing with the case ground on the inverter. There's a case ground in here. That's going to go to chassis ground in there. Uh, we got the AC lines here. This is coming from the shore power plug-in. This goes to the panel. This originally was going from the shore power cord to the panel. I just unhooked it from the shore power cord, pulled it back and pulled it up here to the inverter and ran a completely new line from the inverter to the six or to the shore power connector. It was like 34 feet, so that was cheap. It was like 200 bucks in wire. Uh, really in here, everything's just about done. I gotta put MC4 connectors on these to connect these here. I gotta run a uh, Cat 6 line. I gotta mount the servo here somewhere. There's gotta be a, you know, a Cat 6 line going to that. Same thing from the inverter connecting to the servo. So, so really by the end of the day tomorrow, we'll be pretty close to being done. We're just waiting on uh, solar panels to come in, which are the new Powwow 240 watt. So it'll be 1920 watts total. So we're getting there. So we probably got two more days left on this install, I would assume. One more day to finish up the wiring and uh, one day of mounting the panels. I got a couple easy starts I got to put in the ACs, uh, which I'll probably do tomorrow. And then, like I said, we'll just have one full day of mounting panels and getting them wired, and then we'll be done here and on to the next one. Uh, there'll be one or two more parts of this, so we'll see you guys on the next one. Please like and subscribe.